friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. Actually, I don't really need, need directions. I could uh, show you guys pretty much where everything is if you, if anyone's uh, following this. Ooh, let's discuss this bomb. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I doubt I'm going to pass this, but let's see. 27% doubt I will pass it. Oh, I did. Awesome. Uh, fine. Uh, do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though, or we'll all regret it. Oh, I'm helping you. Okay. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Uh, hell yeah he is. Uh, I can disarm it. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City, but don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Hell yeah, it is. Rivet City, that's where we need to get to eventually. That's where I want to get to before I start on DLCs, but I might do DLCs first, depending. I'm not sure. Um, what do sure, you tell me know? about your town. Uh, oh, wow, we, I don't need to do that. Um, that's about it. Staying out of trouble, what I What the hell? Don't want to have to... Oh, I probably clicked A two times. Have a good one. All right. So, anyways, this is the beautiful Megaton, and there's the Bob that's resting in the middle. So, pretty much, we're gonna go around and talk to everyone. We're we'll talk to Jenny. No, I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? <coughs> we get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. Okay, I'm not hungry. Actually, might as well just sell you some stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got tons of stuff to sell you. I need that. Need all that. There you go. You can take some conductors. Some pre-war money. I don't need that crap. I can sell a uh, baseball bat. All right, let's see what we got for weapons. Okay, well, I need to repair some stuff Enjoy. before I sell it. Some people hate this place. But I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? I know. Okay, so first thing I need to do is repair some stuff before I try selling stuff again. That is key. Making some money. Oh wow, I didn't even see I could repair that again. Um, anything else? Wow, we have so many jumpsuits. <laughs> Not even worth much. Not even worth anything, really. The security one is, though. I'm glad I got all these. Anything else? Mm. 
Alright, so I think I've repaired pretty much everything I can right now. I have tons of stuff I'm gonna have to sell. I only need one of pretty much each kind. So anyways, done talking to you. Who else do we have to talk to? I don't think this guy has anything reported. Could it be? A new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church anytime, anytime at all. Yes, what would you like to know? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago. Oh, really? Where most of the lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, we see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Awesome. Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the bomb, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Man, you're freaking crazy. Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. How very, very sad. <laughs> anything else? Why? Uh, I'm not donating anything to you. Very You're weird. Well. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. Ah, uh, no thank you. Megaton, Atom's sacred village. He has chosen this place for the site of his shrine and we have been called. Outsiders ask us, why did you build a town around a bomb? To them I say, the bomb brings the promise of division and the gift of the glow. The bomb is us. The bomb is Atom. And thus, we are Atom, awaiting the day in which each of us gives birth to a trillion new lives. Alright, anything else? News? My friend, I take effort not to be involved in such worldly business. Earthly pursuits distract from Atom. Of course, now that you mentioned it, I've noticed that Moira has hired a mercenary to protect her goods. The man never sleeps, so they say. Huh. My phone is ringing, but I'll edit that out. And that guy took quite a bit of time to talk, so let's go ahead and... I didn't hear and talk to the doctor real fast. Never really talked to that guy, so I was kind of interested in what he had to say, but I later found myself falling asleep. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. And we're actually going to end it here. Um, and when we come back, we will continue talking to him and other stuff.
and hopefully start on a new course. So, like I said, when we come back. Um, uh, so, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.